Curie point, also called Curie temperature, temperature at which certain magnetic materials undergo a sharp change in their magnetic properties. In the case of rocks and minerals, remanent magnetism appears below the Curie point a euro about 570 a degree Celsius for the common magnetic mineral magnetite. This temperature is named for the French physicist Pierre Curie, who in 1895 discovered the laws that relate some magnetic properties to change in temperature. In physics and materials science, the Curie temperature, or Curie point, is the temperature where a material's permanent magnetism changes to induced magnetism. The force of magnetism is determined by magnetic moments. The Curie temperature is the critical point where a material's intrinsic magnetic moments change direction. Magnetic moments are permanent dipole moments within the atom which originate from electrons' angular momentum and spin. Materials have different structures of intrinsic magnetic moments that depend on temperature. At a material's Curie temperature those intrinsic magnetic moments change direction. Permanent magnetism is caused by the alignment of magnetic moments and induced magnetism is created when disordered magnetic moments are forced to align in an applied magnetic field. For example, the ordered magnetic moments change and become disordered at the Curie temperature. Higher temperatures make magnets weaker as spontaneous magnetism only occurs below the Curie temperature. Magnetic susceptibility only occurs above the Curie temperature and can be calculated from the curie weiss law which is derived from Curie's law. In analogy to ferromagnetic and paramagnetic materials, the Curie temperature can also be used to describe the temperature where a material's spontaneous electric polarization changes to induced electric polarization or the reverse upon reduction of the temperature below the Curie temperature. The Curie temperature is named after Pierre Curie who showed that magnetism was lost at a critical temperature. Magnetic moments Magnetic moments are permanent dipole moments within the atom which are made up from electrons' angular momentum and spin. Electrons inside atoms contribute magnetic moments from their own angular momentum and from their orbital momentum around the nucleus. Magnetic moments from the nucleus are insignificant in contrast to magnetic moments from electrons. Thermal contribution will result in higher energy electrons causing disruption to their order and alignment between dipoles to be destroyed. Ferromagnetic, paramagnetic, Ferromagnetic and antiferromagnetic materials have different structures of intrinsic magnetic moments. It is at a material's specific Curie temperature where they change properties. The transition from antiferromagnetic to paramagnetic occurs at the NAR copyright L temperature which is analogous to Curie temperature. Orientations of magnetic moments in materials. Materials with magnetic moments that change properties at the Curie temperature, ferromagnetic, Paramagnetic, ferromagnetic and antiferromagnetic structures are made up of intrinsic magnetic moments. If all electrons within the structure are paired, these moments cancel out due to having opposite spins and angular momentum. Thus even with an applied magnetic field will have different properties and no Curie temperature. Equals paramagnetic equals. A material is paramagnetic only above its Curie temperature. Paramagnetic materials are non-magnetic when a magnetic field is absent and magnetic when a magnetic field is applied. When the magnetic field is absent the material has disordered magnetic moments. That is, the atoms are unsymmetrical and not aligned. When the magnetic field is present the magnetic moments are temporarily realigned parallel to the applied field. The atoms are symmetrical and aligned. The magnetic moment in the same direction is what causes an induced magnetic field. For paramagnetism this response to an applied magnetic field is positive and known as magnetic susceptibility. The magnetic susceptibility only applies above the Curie temperature for disordered states. Sources of paramagnetism include, all atoms which have unpaired electrons. Atoms where inner shells are incomplete in electrons. Free radicals metals. Above the Curie temperature the atoms are excited, the spin orientation becomes randomized, but can be realigned in an applied field and the material paramagnetic. Below the Curie temperature the intrinsic structure has undergone a phase transition, the atoms are ordered and the material is ferromagnetic. 
The paramagnetic materials induced magnetic fields are very weak in comparison to ferromagnetic materials magnetic fields equals ferromagnetic equals materials are only ferromagnetic below their corresponding Curie temperatures ferromagnetic materials are magnetic in the absence of an applied magnetic field when a magnetic field is absent the material has spontaneous magnetization which is a result of the ordered magnetic moments that is, for ferromagnetism, the atoms are symmetrical and aligned in the same direction creating a permanent magnetic field. The magnetic interactions are held together by exchange interactions. Otherwise thermal disorder would overcome the weak interactions of magnetic moments. The exchange interaction has a zero probability of parallel electrons occupying the same point in time, implying a preferred parallel alignment in the material. The Boltzmann factor contributes heavily as it prefers interacting particles to be aligned in the same direction. This causes ferromagnets to have strong magnetic fields and high Curie temperatures of around 1000 kelvins. Below the Curie temperature, the atoms are aligned and parallel, causing spontaneous magnetism. The material is ferromagnetic. Above the Curie temperature the material is paramagnetic, as the atoms lose their ordered magnetic moments when the material undergoes a phase transition. Equals ferromagnetic equals. Materials are only ferromagnetic below their materials corresponding Curie temperature. Ferromagnetic materials are magnetic in the absence of an applied magnetic field and are made up of two different ions. When a magnetic field is absent the material has a spontaneous magnetism which is the result of ordered magnetic moments. That is, for ferromagnetism one ion's magnetic moments are aligned facing in one direction with certain magnitude and the other ion's magnetic moments are aligned facing in the opposite direction with a different magnitude. As the magnetic moments are of different magnitudes in opposite directions there is still a spontaneous magnetism and a magnetic field is present. Similar to ferromagnetic materials the magnetic interactions are held together by exchange interactions. The orientations of moments however are anti-parallel which results in a net momentum by subtracting their momentum from one another. Below the Curie temperature the atoms of each ion are aligned anti-parallel with different momentums causing a spontaneous magnetism. The material is ferromagnetic. Above the Curie temperature the material is paramagnetic as the atoms lose their ordered magnetic moments as the material undergoes a phase transition. Equals antiferromagnetic and the NAR copyright L temperature equals. Materials are only antiferromagnetic below their corresponding NAR copyright L temperature. This is similar to the Curie temperature as above the NAR copyright L temperature the material undergoes a phase transition and becomes paramagnetic. The material has equal magnetic moments aligned in opposite directions resulting in a zero magnetic moment and a net magnetism of zero at all temperatures below the NAR copyright L temperature. Antiferromagnetic materials are weakly magnetic in the absence or presence of an applied magnetic field. Similar to ferromagnetic materials the magnetic interactions are held together by exchange interactions preventing thermal disorder from overcoming the weak interactions of magnetic moments. When disorder occurs it is at the NAR copyright L temperature. Curie-Weiss law, the Curie-Weiss law is an adapted version of Curie's law. The Curie-Weiss law is a simple model derived from a mean field approximation, this means it works well for the material's temperature, T, much greater than their corresponding Curie temperature, Tc, that is Ttc. However fails to describe the magnetic susceptibility, I in the immediate vicinity of the Curie point because of local fluctuations between atoms. Both Curie's law and the Curie-Weiss law do not hold for T.